Today I'm going to show you all the cool things I saw at Creativation. I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crown Collection. I help you guys find the coolest art supplies for whatever project you're doing. And today we are wading through all of the products from a ton of different companies from Creativation Art Materials World. What is Creativation Art Materials World? I'll tell you. <laughs> so normally it's a conference that's like a week long and what happens is a lot of the art supply companies will meet with the stores, the retail stores, big and small, and they will decide what product they're gonna carry so the companies will work as hard as they can they'll present all these products and then they'll know if it was picked up or not after this conference and plus they kind of meet with some of the other stores offline a little bit but what is really exciting is that they let bloggers youtubers influencers come and I was able to go this year and it was really nice because it was virtual and let me just tell you it was like Christmas for me because I love art supplies and to be able to talk to so many companies was amazing I'm not gonna show you all the companies I talked Talk to you all the products that I saw but I'm gonna highlight the ones that I thought were the coolest there is so much to navigate I'm gonna go through all of the companies of all the cool products that I saw there and let you guys know and there's some things that I saw there that I can't tell you about but there are some things that I can and I'm really excited to get these out to you and to show you I'm also going to show you a couple products from people I didn't meet with at Creativation because there's also other art companies that weren't there but they also have really cool products that are coming out or that just I think are really cool I just want this to be a video where you guys make sense of all the art supplies so I hope I help you guys make sense of these because sometimes you can like look on a website and you're like I have no idea what I need if you know kind of what's out there you can really get the products that you need and not waste money on ones that you don't we are going to go through this company by company and I've already reviewed some of these products on my blog and or my YouTube channel and I'm gonna be reviewing some of them coming up watch for that but I'll go through these and most of these I'll be reviewing and I'll leave a link below to what I have already reviewed and I'll update it as I go the first one I want to start with is Newell Brands Newell Brands I had no idea that they own so many product lines I was like going into this I was like I really want to meet with Prismacolor I really want to meet with Sharpie those were two of the ones I really wanted to meet with because I've been doing videos and blog posts about those this year. Come to find out that Prismacolor is under Newell Brands, so is Sharpie, so is Flare Pens, Paper Mate, so is Elmer's Glue, Expo. They have a ton of brands under their umbrella. And I was like, I had no idea. I met with someone from Newell Brands and I was so excited. There are so many cool things. If you watched my All the Colors of Sharpie video, you already saw that there's, there's going to be a 65 count set coming in September with all the fine line core color markers. And I'm really excited about that. This year they also have the Mystic Gems. And this is going to be a little bit of a show and tell. <laughs> These I found out Walmart. There's a lot of different packs coming out. They come out in 12 and 24 if you want to get all the colors get the 24 it's easier they will also be coming in the 65 pack later this year but if you don't want to wait and I didn't want to wait so I went out and bought them immediately and I swatched them and I love them they're so pretty there are a lot of different colors Sharpie has a lot of colors they also have the S note what's the difference between S note and the core Sharpie color well they're different uses this one's a chisel tip one's alcohol based and one's water based the S note are really good for like bullet journaling, note taking, that kind of thing. You can also color with them. You can use the chisel tip to do fine lines or you can use it to do thicker lines. I like that it's just in one because if I'm doing a fine line, I don't usually switch over to the other one. I usually just turn my pen a different way. That's the S note. They come in really cool colors. I've identified all the colors. Those are on my blog. Those two have already been reviewed. Sharpie also has a lot of brush pens. They come in different sizes. I got this size. I'm super excited for it. I'm going to be doing swatches and I'll do a review on my blog this year. <laughs> and then Paper Mate. Paper Mate Flare has Flare Scented coming out and Flare Bold. So Flare Bold is going to be a little bit thicker nib than the regular Flare Pen. And those are really cool. And here are the swatches. 
Thank you, Newell Brands, for sending me those. I do want to let you know that a lot of the brands sent me samples in this video. Some of them I bought myself, so it's kind of a mix. Crayola this year did not go to Creative Vision. They go to Toy Fair, and Toy Fair tonight happened. I don't really know as much as I did last year this time what Crayola is coming out with, but in January, they released their Colors of the World colored pencils, Colors of the World markers. And I've done reviews on both the colored pencils and the markers and I already colored with them also. They're really cool. I don't know which one I like better. I like the markers for like the lighter skin because I don't feel like they translated as well in the pencil, but I like the way the colored pencil blends and you can shade. So it's just kind of a mix. That's what's new from Crayola this year that I know about. There'll be more coming throughout this year. Watch for back to school and Christmas time is when we'll see the new Crayola products. From Tombow, they sent me a bunch of their open stock. They have a alcohol marker and they also have a water-based marker. And at first I was a little intimidated by the alcohol marker. They're kind of similar to Copics. You can do the same things layer you can blend all that stuff with them i was a little intimidated but once i just figured it out they're like copics i was like oh this is so easy and i was able to do some blending with that and i hope you guys like that you can use just one marker and get a lot out of it or you can combine two colors in this last flower i combined three colors and that was probably my favorite because i feel like i could really paint with it and no petal was like the same which would be tr more true to nature they also make erasers and they make adhesives and i have used their adhesives for years and i made a card recently with their new adhesives and i'll say their adhesive is smaller now i feel like it sticks better i'm really happy that they came out those they also have graphite pencils and i used one of those to do some lettering i also used their erasers to do some lettering too because I am not an expert at lettering. So I had to make sure I went through it first and got everything down really good. And because I'm not really good at spacing when it comes to lettering, but I like how it turned out. I think it turned out pr pretty. Tombow also makes the Roditin colored pencils and they sent me a few of those to try. Dry. They're wax based colored pencils and they come in 90 color. I would love to try them all, but I think if I was going to try anything first, I want to try the water based markers from Tombow because a lot of people that I've talked to like have them all. I think that would be a lot of fun to try them. Tombow has brush. They're all brushed. I honestly think Crayola is missing the mark with this one or a market. They don't have a brush marker out. They have well, they do. They have one, and the only way that you can get all eight colors is to buy this 40 count box. You can get it in five colors, but imagine if they put this super tamp ink and they put it in that brush marker. They would have like, I think 120 colors of brush markers. I'm just saying, <laughs> I think they should do a brush marker, but you know, that, that's my thing. Every company is gonna operate a little bit different. You kind of see that as you go along. They have different focuses. One of the other companies that I talked to that I was super excited to get a sample of, and I've already done the review and the videos, so you can check both of those out, was Holbein Colored Pencils. They gave me three colored pencil sets. They gave me the Design Tone set, the Basic, and the Pastel. And the Pastel was my favorite. They're an oil-based colored pencil, and their pigment is super strong. That's why they're really popular, is they have this pigment, and you can use their Melts Blending Solution to blend it, kind of like a watercolor, or you could use another blender. I think the solution's a little bit easier on your hands, though. These are really cool. They're coming to the U.S. At the time, they sent me these. The big set wasn't available, but there is a huge set. It runs a little bit much. I think it's a hundred pencils and it's like $150 on Blick, but they're really good quality colored pencils and you'll love them if you get them. I just, I did a picture of them and I love them. <laughs> One of the next companies is Dixon Ticonderoga that I met with, but I didn't meet with all of their counterparts. They have the school line, which is like regular number two pencil and all your erasers, but they also have more artist type art supplies. We have the graduate fine liners and they might be similar to like the tri plus fine liners and the Sharpie ultra fine markers. Here's the swatches for those. Then we have the graduate colored pencils. Then we also have the aqua brush duo. That reminds me a lot of like the Tombow that we looked at just barely. This one I believe is available in 24 colors. And then this is their Rembrandt poly color pencils. 
which is in 24. They also have one other colored pencil that I didn't get a sample for. Polycolor, I think is their top of the line. And if you guys know any different, let me know. And their graduates, kind of like the beginner colored pencils. Those are the difference between the two. And they also have a aqua grill that I don't have a sample of here. And those are like uh, watercolor pencils. We have the Derwent Light Fast Colored Pencils. This is 72. When they asked me what colored pencils do you want to try out, I was like, I looked at their website and they have a ton. Let me read those to you real fast. They have color drawing pencils, watercolor, life fast, which I picked, artist color, studio, graphic tint, color soft, ink tense, charcoal, and pro color. How many is that? They might have more, but this is what I found this morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was like nine colored pencils and their color system isn't consistent across their pencils. I think this is a good video to do comparing all the went. and maybe I would just pick like a red in all of those maybe or like two colors so we could blend them and see how they I'll do. So two colors that might be in every set and kind of see the differences between all of them. But I chose the Light Fast or Ink Tense. I chose those two because their light fast is similar to the polychromos and prismacolor and i know a lot of you guys like that so i thought you would be really excited for these a lot of these color pencils were available in europe and now they're coming to the u.s i have the 72 set but they also have a 28 so they have 100 colored pencils in the light fast if you want to get all of the colored pencils for the light fast there's a kit that they sell that you can get like an add-on so you can get all the colored pencils that they currently have in Life Rest. But if you like their artist color, that's a totally different story. But I think that's a good video. Let me know if you guys like that video I did. Because they're good pencils. Another company I talked to was Toss Products. And they made these palettes. This is more like if you like have an art class. You don't want to clean up all the trays. These are recyclable. They're made from recycled material. Their thing is like the paint doesn't go down the sink and it's easy cleanup. So if you're looking for easy cleanup, this would be a great product. And now we're on to Beacon. Tombow has a lot of adhesives. Beacon has a lot of glues. Let's look at all their products. Some of them are in a bag because he sent me a sample to do at Creativation and glitter got all over. So I've just kept the products in the bag because I don't know how to, that would be a good video, how to take glitter off of everything because I got it all over my house. This is a gem tack permanent glue for like jeans, phones, purses, shoes, glasses, and more for like putting jewels on. I have shoes sometimes that some of the embellishments fall off. That would be perfect for that. Belt glue. This is what I need. <laughs> Michaels needs this in their stores when they do their kids projects. <laughs> they need to make a kid version of this. Because at Michaels, they were always like having us use like the Elmer's glue. And I was like, this isn't working. Like it's not sticking. Felt needs a special glue. Do not use Elmer's glue. I'm glad they make something for that. This is stiff and stuff. My grandma actually does a lot of crocheting. You can spray this on and it'll make all your crochet. She does ornaments with that or she did because she passed away. This is glitter it. So you can put this in something and put glitter on it. I'm a little glittered out right now, <laughs> but that would be really cool at Christmas time. I probably will want to do more. This one is industrial grade. You can use it on craft, hobby, home decor, and home repairs. And power tech, so it's just a, a very strong glue. And they also have like an industrial side. And we are just gonna look the rest of these through my bag. Adhesive spray, so you can spray this on and put glitter on. They have another fabric tack glue right here that you can put with fabric. That's not for felt. So you could probably use this one for felt too, but they have a specific one for felt. And zip dry, which is super fast. Like if you're using it, don't blink because I used it and I was like, whoa. I want to mention, this is Educational Insights. Has the cutest coloring book thing. So you can use some of these colored pencils. Holbein actually says they want all artists of all ages to use their products. But look at these, aren't these cute? You can design your own fashion and they're like, not the like 1800 fashion. So that's really cool for kids. I also have a few other coloring books that I want to show you. Some of them are new this year. This one I got, cause it had cool sayings and I thought it'd be fun to color in. This one I got to practice my lettering. I need to get better at it. This one I got for like watercolor cause flowers are really fun to color with watercolors. And then this is a new book. She did not send this to me from Johanna Bassford. It's called Worlds of Wonder. I got that one so I could 
color with it. And then I also got Secret Garden. So those are some of the fun coloring books that you can use with all these supplies, all these art supplies. I also picked up some bullet journals. I don't even know what brand this is, but the pages are really cool. And I can keep my zebra pen right here. I mean, I got another one and I'm just doing like all the swatches in this one. So this is, I'm not, oh, Tri Plus Fine Liner. So I picked up, I picked up the Tri Plus Fine Liner this year. Cause I thought I did that when I got the dual sided ones, but I realized it wasn't. <laughs> but here's all the swatches for those. I figured out all the color names. And that's one thing I love to do is figure out color names. I have some swatches in there. All right, this is gonna be my swatch book. I might eventually, I know I have swatch charts, but I might eventually put all my stuff in here too, just so I can have it two places. Cause the more swatches, the better, right? And now we're gonna get into Zebra. Zebra sent me like their entire line. Almost I felt like, probably not everything, but a lot of it. Actually, my husband just bought something else. He's like, you can review it if you want. Like. Are you sure I don't already have it? I'm gonna go through all of these with you and show you the swatches that I have. I've been using these a lot and they've been a lot of fun. These come from Japan as the same with Tombow. So some of these are available in Japan before they're available here. You know what, I think maybe that's why he went to Japan's. I think he got something that's not available in the US. I think he got some brush markers, which I have, but they're not the same ones. This is the Fun Wary set. And these are like to do lettering. They're super cute. I don't know if their color names are on here because it's in Japanese. I would assume so. But I don't know. I'll check online maybe and see if I can find the color names for those. This is the Mild Liner Creative Marker. This is like the one that's on TikTok and like Instagram. And I've actually been using these a lot. I've been using them in my planner. I've been using it in my, to keep track of like my calendar and my schedule and it has improved my organization vastly and it just makes it fun to look at. They have Sarasa clip and they have these actually in a lot of different colors. They have like this 20 pack which has all the colors and then they just have the black, blue, and red and I've, you can see two of them are missing because I've been using them. I love these. The, the ink is good. You do have to wait a minute or two. It says no smudge. You have to wait like a minute or two before that. Don't go over them with a marker until you've waited. This is the click art. You can also use these with the mild liners and you can use these by themselves. They're available in 12 colors. It's super vibrant. The colors lay down really easy and I think they're super pretty. This is more of this Ross Eclipse. These are some of my favorite. They're called Craw Rich. And what you can do, you can use them by themselves or you can highlight over like another color and put glitter on it. I think they should make a clear one just to make whatever you're doing glittery. Then I want to have color added. This is one of my favorite ones, this Rasa. I've been using these, the Rasa felt tip, and I've been using this Rasa gel ink. I think I like these ones a little better because it dries a little bit faster and I just keep it on the end of my journal. That's why there's no black there. <laughs> I love the black ones. <laughs> this is the brush marker and there's 15 colors. It's similar colors to my liner highlighters, but because they have like the brush tip, I actually like these a little bit better. I wish there was more color selection and guess what? Later this year, there's going to be. Not to worry. I think those will be my favorite. I do like the chisel tip when I'm using them in my planner because it's a smooth line, but the brush is like funner just to kind of play around with and try to do some of those fun lettering things. We have the Shimmer Metal Ink, which looks really cool on black paper. These colored pencils, and these are actually all of the colors, so I was able to swatch all of the colors. My swatch chart is really bad. I probably just need to redo it. Uh-oh, which one is which? I just need to redo it and put it in order. But they're really cool. It's a thicker lead. There's a lot of colors available. I don't know if they're my favorite colored pencils, but they're really cool to use. Kind of a new idea. Then we have a mechanical pencil. They have more art supplies. This is just what they sent me, which was a lot. I already have the mild liner chisel tip reviewed, but I'm gonna do brush soon. And then I'm also gonna be putting some of the other ones up there probably every so often. Just check if you want a review for that. I know someone wanted the review for these. 
And I'll show you these really fast. So they're the glitter ones, they're super pretty. I love wide mouth jars to keep our supplies in, especially the loose ones, because then you can have them all together. You can see what's in there. I wanna get all 108 Tombows, like I said before. I actually waited to do this video because I knew that Faber-Castell, one of my favorite companies, you wanna know why? Because of their color system, it's consistent. It's at least consistent across, I think, they're two of their lines, but they were sending me some samples and I wanted to make sure that I included those in these videos because their color system is my favorite. One day I will get the markers. I feel like I've said that with Copic, with Tombow, with Prismacolor, and now Polychromos. To get all of these markers, I'd have to have like $2,000 and or more. I think the Copics alone are like a thousand. I'm like, okay, I just need to make $3,000 and I can <laughs> get all of those. I think I'm gonna go with Tombow next. Not the alcohol ones, because those are like 400, and I feel like their watercolors are so pretty. Let's go on to Faber-Castell. They have three lines. So their first line is their professional artist line. They sent these 36 polychromos colored pencils. They also have a watercolor color pencil that I have, and I have a review for both the polychromos and the watercolor pencils up already. This is the 60 watercolor. There, it also comes in 120. And then this is the 120, but there's a lot of colors in this set. And I'll review this 36 set because it could be a more affordable option for you to get than the 120 because the 120 costs a lot more money than just 36. And you can blend those to make a lot of colored pencil combinations. Next they have their blue, and this is for like the student, and I have never tried their blue set. You know a review is coming. We're gonna review their Goldfaber Aqua and their Goldfaber Faber-Castell Creative Studio Quality. And on here, you can see on the back that they also, it looks like they have the same color system that they do for their polychromos. Hopefully like you can use them together if you want, but the colors are all the same, but these are a more affordable option. So the 40 is the biggest pack you can get in these ones and in the watercolor. They have light fastness, vibrant color lay down, highly pigmented, water resistant, smudge proof, high break resistant, easy to sharpen. So they have a lot of great qualities. I would definitely recommend trying these out and see if you like them. The professional quality line is green. And then their student quality range is blue, like that. They also have markers. I'll read everything they have. They have artist pens, soft pastels, gelatos, graphite pencils, and watercolor pencils in that mid-range category. And then their professional, they have the watercolor pencils like I showed you, the polychromos, the pastel pencils, and they have artist pens. And they have some watercolor markers, which would be really cool to try also. I have a lot to review for you this year, but we'll get to them, because it's so much fun. And then they have this red line. This is for kids, so it's still the great quality they have in their other products, but they just have this in kids now. These are the cutest, aren't they, with the little B on front? These are gel crayons. They'll go on, how do I describe it? It's almost like lipstick onto a paper. And then these ones will go on more like a crayon, but they're jumbo and they're triangular, so it's good for like kids not to break them. My daughter already opened this. I opened the package, she's like, oh, I want those crayons. But they have the cutest like little names, Beeswax crayons. It looks like a little bee on it. These are super great. So your kids will love them. They come in this case. How perfect would that be for like on the go travel? That'd be great. So they also have a ton of other products for kids. It's called Creativity for Kids. And I don't have any of those products, but it rivals some of the toy companies line. And I do review some of those type of products on my blog. I don't have any Faber-Castell on there yet. Maybe eventually I'll get some of those on my blog to review for the kids. So you have a lot of really great options with Faber-Castell. These guys were not at Creativation Art Materials World, but I wanted to show you these because as I was looking at lettering, there was a lot of people that had like white on there. I'm like, are they like purposely not writing there or what are they doing to get that really pretty white? Well, guess what? Posca pens. So I tried to grab all the whites, but they weren't available on Blick. I will look and then maybe I'll do a review of like all the different nibs and all the different sizes of Posca. 
but I picked up these pens and the white is amazing. All the other colors are amazing too. You can decorate jars and wood and all this stuff. They're like a paint pen so they'll soak it in. You can also use these on paper. So they have a lot of great uses, but they look really good with lettering. That's why I picked it up. I think this nib, the one that I chose was a little thick. They come in like eight different sizes. I was like so overwhelmed. I was like, I have no idea what size to pick. So that is definitely a video coming for you guys. How to pick your Posca pen. <laughs> Cause they are pretty, but it's like, what size and what colors do I need? I also met with a few companies that weren't like per se colored pencils or crayons or markers and that were like paper. And one of the first ones I want to show you is Yatsutomo. And they're from Japan. They have some really cool items. I'm going to be reviewing these for you this year. They have like a watercolor palette, which is really pretty. They have a lot of really cool colors in there. And I'm really excited for this one. It's a shimmer and shine. I'm sure it would look great on black or white paper, as you can see on the back here. And then they have a lot of origami paper. They have ones that are regular origami paper, but they also have some that you can color, which is super cool. Then they have this paste. Let me read to you what this paste does. It says, it's like a starch adhesive for school art and craft project. Dries clear and invisible. Perfect for delicate papers and tissues. So exactly for origami paper. Will not soak through fabric. Washes off easy. Safe for children. Thins with water. So this is, I can't wait to try this. I have never thought of this before. And then also I want to really thank Hannah Mueller for sending me some paper because as I've gotten more into like coloring and stuff this past year, I realized that paper is really important. And I'll probably get more than what I have here. I use some Strathmore and I also, Hannah Mueller makes some really good papers. I've done a lot of like swatches so far with these. They have this nostalgia one. I'm gonna put my glasses back on because I can't read everything. This is for like pencil, charcoal, sepia, wax, crayons, pastel. It's acid free. It's pretty thick. I've also used it for markers. We have a bamboo paper and this one is really good for like colored pencils. I did a coloring page on this one with the whole vine that turned out really pretty. It's really pretty for that. It's like a little thinner. I tried doing like a Sharpie on it and it was pretty, but I wouldn't recommend it probably for markers, but I would definitely recommend it for like crayons or colored pencils. And then we have this harmony this one is super thick watercolor you have to like tear it off and I've done a couple watercolors on here and it's really nice thick. some paper like if you put water on it will curl up and this one doesn't so that was super nice that it didn't do that they have a lot more papers in this they actually have paper if you have like a laser printer but I don't have a laser printer I print it off on the bamboo and you can probably off on the nostalgia too it just depends what size of paper your printer can take but they do have laser printer they have lots more paper but this is just a little bit of sampling of their paper <laughs> creativation as you can see was a ton of fun and i met with probably twice as many companies as i showed you today but these were some of my favorite products i reached out to them they reached out to me and we were able to kind of like showcase these and show you these because there's a lot of like hours that went into this that I met with these people that I saw their products and I was like, mm, I like that, I don't like that. I really kind of tried to fine tune exactly what I could show you guys that I thought would be the best representation for these companies and that you guys would find the coolest and you'd be like, oh, I haven't heard of that or I really want to try that. And the things in this video I showed you, some of them are super cheap and then some of them are super expensive. So we have this wide range and I think art supplies are like that. You have this wide range depending on what you want to do with them and what you're using them for now here's the question <laughs> what was your favorite I know we went over a ton of art supplies and I didn't go over them like super in depth because I did not want this to be like a five hour video and you guys would be like I'm so bored <laughs> I just wanted to give you a quick view and see what kind of products are out there for whatever you're trying to do. And so you can help navigate this world of coloring a little bit. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know which was your favorite art supply. Is there one that you want me to review first that you saw out of all these? You're like, you have to review that, Jenny. I have to see what that looks like. Just let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.